I'm Chrissy and this is Penny and um, on Friday we were out shopping at Pets at Home getting a new harness and um, came home to go and collect my middle child from school at about half three, four o'clock and got home and Penny had taken herself to a cage because uh, she was really tired which is unusual because usually she sits with me and um, so she's gone into a cage and she's asleep I've left the door open so she can go for a wee and stuff like that I told my eldest to do the dishes and my middle one to do the washing. My middle one ignored me and as um, my eldest carried on within the dishes. And as, uh, my middle one and the youngest came to the table to do their nails. And so I said to my middle one, um, where's Penny? And she said, I don't know, I think she's in the kitchen, which striked alarm bells. Uh, so I went into the kitchen to see if she was there and she wasn't, um, she wasn't in the garden. And I heard the tumble dry going and it just my heart sank because I thought, you know, she might be in there. I opened the door and had to rummage round because it wasn't obvious at first. And uh, she was just inside and very limp and hot and panting. Ran upstairs, put her underneath the tap, which was at the time quite cool. It wasn't cold enough, I thought, so I put her underneath the cold tap. Um, still limp, wrapped her in a blanket, took, put her in the car, went straight to the vet's. Uh, the vet said it would be uh, touch and go, um, and then, to cut a long story short, we sort of like ended up in the animal hospital, 24 hour one in Ch called Chester Gates. She spent 48 hours there, again it was still touch and go. Um, she wasn't walking the first 24 hours. Um, 48 hours later I went to see her and she was jumping and skipping about as if it had not even happened and everything got back to normal and she came home that night and it's just, a, and the vet said it was a miracle that she'd even made it and that um, if anything it was the clothes inside that saved her and if it had been a minute longer or anything like that then she wouldn't have survived and just basically very very lucky to have her alive.